Hello, I'm Luke Bouchard, and this is today's Forgiveness Declaration card reading. I forgive myself for believing that I am in charge. Okay, so let me see what I wrote about this declaration. I forgive myself for believing that I am in charge. Control is an illusion. As simple as that. The ego wants us to think we're in control. But the only thing we can control is whether we are loving or hating, accepting or resisting, or allowing or, or allowing or plowing. Peace only comes when the first options and never the latter ones. So what do I want to say about this? As I mentioned, control is an illusion, and we we want to be in control because we we think we have to be. We think we need to we need to be in charge. We need to um, be the one making it happen. And often, what we'll do is we need to be in control so much that we're driving a process with a stick. We're forcing things, and we're not really being uh, one with God. We're not in the here and now. We're not present when we are trying to be in control. What we are doing is um, not trusting that we're going to be okay. We're not trusting that it's going to be fine. We're not trusting that God is, has our back and is going to take care of us. So we effort and we, and we, we, uh, we do as opposed to be. And if you and what comes with that efforting is not a lot of peace of mind because you're always having to figure it out. You have to be vigilant. You have to always be looking to see what might happen or what do you need to protect yourself from. So we are in that constant state of um, uh, doing this so that we can ensure our future because we don't trust we're going to be fine in the future. We don't trust that we're going to be okay in the future. And it's not the future we have to worry about. All we have to worry about is the here and now, is, the, is this moment in time. And so if you're in fearful, if you're in a lot of fear, if you feel that you, <laughs> if people tell you micromanage or you always have to be in control, you might want to stop and look at that as to what are you, what are you avoiding when you're having to be in charge? What are you avoiding when you have to take control? Well, we're, we're avoiding that fear of what might happen in the future. And the way to get out of that is to come into center, be still, and connect with God. So this picture was taken at the Devonian Gardens uh, east of Edmonton. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's the, um, the botanical center run by the University of Alberta. And uh, <clears throat> or I think they have a partnership with. I'm not really sure. It was a beautiful fall day. It was September, and I managed to capture this uh, this wasp flying away from the sunflower. And I just love this image. It's one of my favorites of the one of the '78 in the deck. And uh, you know who's in control here? The 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 flowers on its side, and the and the wasp is flying. You know, upside down, going down. If you turn this picture on its side. And the other thing I want to say with this is that uh, um, the statement allow not plow, uh, somebody actually um, w w from, I think from the southern states who <laughs> never seen a snow plow had said, what plow? What do you mean plow? What is, what is the plow? And she asked if I actually spelt it wrong, P-O-W, and uh, she thought it was P-O-U-G-H or something on that. So if you're not familiar with the term plow, it's a thing that moves snow off the roads here in winter in Canada. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to have greater peace of mind, if you want to have greater happiness, then we have to allow God to take a, to, to, we have to allow ourselves to put our, 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 ourselves in the hands of God and Holy Spirit. Because if we don't do that, then we're just uh, an efforting. We're just efforting and we're human doers. And we're always trying to figure it out. Okay, take care.